hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to upload multiple files or images in your django project so i have this basic project here and what we're doing in this project is just uploading a file so it's a file uploader let me just show you what the project does so when i choose file and then let me just click on this image and hit submit so it gives me the link to that file it uploads it on the cloud on the storage so if I go to that particular, so it just give me the directory to that file. And if I go to my website slash that link, it automatically generates that file. It brings that file. So that's the link to that file. It's a file uploader. But let me refresh this page and show you something. So if I choose file now, and let's say I want to choose multiple files like one, two, it doesn't allow me to choose multiple files. I can choose only one file. So that is what we're going to fix in this video. What we want to do be able to upload multiple files just like you see on for example on a social media site like instagram you don't just want to be able to upload one photo at a time you can upload multiple photos at a time on instagram so let me show you how to implement that or integrate that into your django project so first of all this is the index.html page of this project so this page this is the html file of it the first thing we want to do is to go into the form so this is the closing tag of the form we want to go right here so this is a input type file so the first thing we want to do we can just add multiple so this multiple it just signifies that we are going to be able to upload multiple files in this particular input and i want to change this name from name i don't want it to be name i want it to be files okay there right here i want it to be files so that is most of the stuff we want to do in the index.html and right here in the views this is where i'm submitting everything so as you can see the first thing it does is if request or method is equals to post it just creates a new instance or a new object using the files models and what it just does is it collects that particular file which is being uploaded from the index.html and it saves it this we don't need this I just comment that out but what i want to do now is to be able to upload multiple files so first of all right here i don't want to get this from here let me copy it so outside here what i just want to do so file equals request dot files name so what this is just getting just getting one file but now let's first change this to files and then request dot files but now it should be dot get list and then this now should be the normal bracket and then in here we want to get files so what it's doing since now it's not just one file we're collecting we're collecting multiple files which is going to be a list of files so we're saying where's dot files dot get list files so because we're using this get we have to use the normal bracket and not the square bracket so now that we've done this we're just going to use a for loop to loop through all the files that is being collected before we save that file so i just leave a space and say for file in files and then all this needs to be indented so i'm just going to say for file in files so for each file in these files you're gonna say create a new instance and say file equals to request dot file. So I'm just gonna say file equals to file. Just to make everything clear, I have a model. Let me quickly go to my models.py file. I have a model named files and that has an attribute named file. So this file attribute is the particular attribute which is gonna take the all the file object or all the files that is being uploaded. So that's why we're creating a new file. First of all, we imported the file model from the models.py. And then right here, we created a new instance using the files that we imported. And then we are giving it this file, which is this attribute here, by giving it each of the files that we are looping through, if that makes sense. So if we come here into our admin and let's go to home. So we're going to see that we have a model name file. Then we have bunch of objects there already so when we test what we're doing now you're gonna see the difference so let's quickly go back to our project 
but right here we loop through for file and files new file should be equals to files and file equals to file then this should work so now let's just test it out and see when we save this and we go back here and refresh so i have my project running my command prompt you can see it's reloading most of the time sometimes it loads fast sometimes it takes a while to load so let's see let's see let's see and take a while so about okay that is done once we hit refresh now it should be fine so now you see it says choose files it doesn't say only file again it says choose files and now i'm able to select more than one file so I selected four files, and it's open and it submit. So now let's see. This should. So as you can see, when I show you the project in the intro, I told you that it's gonna give me the URL of the file that has been uploaded. So now where I'm expecting four URLs because I uploaded four files, but just giving me the URL of the first one. We're gonna deal with this in a bit. But first of all, let's make sure that those four files we uploaded really saved in our database. So before we add 59 objects, now we should be looking at 63 objects. All right, enter. Let's see. Now you can see we have 63 objects. So four more files were being uploaded. So if we just take this, this is just one of the files. I'm wrecking the first file. So this should just take us to that particular image. So right here, this is the image. But now what we want to do, I don't even want to get the links to the file that is going to be easy i'm going to show you how to get the links to the file and i can also show you how to what i want to do is to display all the images that has been shown so once i upload four images or five images all the images should be displayed right here so let's quickly go ahead and do that the first thing we want to do let's have a list so we can say file list we want to have an empty list right here above the for loop then after saving each of the files, what I just want to do is to say file list as under the loop dot append. And I just want to append new file. So that's a new file that I just saved dot file dot file, which is this dot URL. So I'm going to get the particular URL of that file. So now that we're getting the particular URL of that file and it's being saved into this file list, that is good. So what we can just do now, say return render index.html. So this new URL is just rendering the URL of the file that we uploaded. So that is what was is showing here. As you can see, new URL, we're passing it to index.html. Come to index.html right here, we're using the new URL. That's why we just have this. But what we want to do now, we want to pass a list. So since we have this list, instead of writing all this now, we can just say all of these equals to file list. So the new URL or new URLs, let's put it like that, an S. Let's change this and save that. Now if I come here and hit refresh, yes, let me just okay, let me refresh from here. And now let me upload multiple files. Let's upload for again and hit submit. Now you see that we have a list of the URLs. We have this one, second one. So let's just open up two and make sure that yeah, that is correct. So we open up this one. This is the first one paste it gives us the first image second one also gives us the second image and so on like that so once we have this now most of the work is done what we just want to do instead of just showing this url actually that's the main point of this project to be able to upload the file and get the url of it but i just want to be able to showcase the images like in box form right here so let's go ahead and do that what we're just gonna do now all this url we don't need it let's comment this out what i just want to do so in this div we want everything to be in that div what we're going to use is a for loop so put a percentage sign 
in the ginger templating for URLs in new URL URL. So let's first of all end the for loop and for uh, what we want to do now is to just have an image tag the src of the URL but now we this is gonna show all the images with the URLs but what I want to do now instead of just having this it's gonna be too big for just this so let's just like have it in a box form something like that so let's have the width to be I think 150 is cool and then the height also be 150 consistent now we have this let's test our code well, hopefully the last time let's choose files and let me choose four files four files it's submit and as you can see the four files in which we choose are showing here so this is exactly what we wanted to do everything that we upload the multiple files we upload we want them shown here and each of them can also be opened in a new tab we can copy the image link just like normal just like this so this is basically what i wanted to show you in this video and i really hope you understood what we did in this video and everything i talked about if you did and if you like this video please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe having all this said thank you so much for watching and bye for now